Congressman Marcelino Teodoro is the first ever elected District 1 representative of the city of Marikina. Now that he is a public servant, he never felt the same experiences when he was a kid. I never now uh, experience loneliness in terms of my young, young activity. I, 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 I acknowledge it as a blessing. In January 2007, Marikina was divided into two districts. District 1 is composed of nine barangays, while District 2 is composed of seven barangays. Under District 1 are Barangay Santo Nino, Tanyong, Malanday, Kalumpang, Barangka, Industrial Valley Complex, San Roque, Santa Elena, and Jesus de la Peña. Diverse neighborhoods that make Marikina a vibrant and prosperous community. Santo Nino is the biggest barangay in the district with a total land area of 145.55 hectares and it is where most of Marikina's business establishments are located. When Marcy was appointed as acting chief of the Marikina Settlements Office, he was exposed and knew firsthand how important it is for illegal settlers to have a relocation site. Today, his district boasts of acquiring zero squatter community after he successfully relocated at least 15,000 families living at the Marikina River banks. They were relocated to a public land called Olandes at Barangay Industrial Valley Complex. The families relocated were given land titles which assured them of ownership of the land. Napakalaki ng tulong na ginawa ni Congressman dito. Unang-una, kung nakikita niyo itong bahayan na ito, dati ito kasi ay hindi malaman ng mga tao kung saan sila lalapit na ahensya. Ang nagkataon naman na si Congressman noon ay hindi pa, hindi pa siya tumatakbong kung anong posisyon. Nasa MSO pa lang siya, eh natulungan niya na rito na magkaroon ng, uh, ng uh, kasiguruhan ng mga tao. Dahil ito hawak ng DNR eh. Sa ngayon, eh, iniintay na lang nila yung kanilang mga kanya-kanyang titulo. Being the child of a public school teacher and coming from a public school, Congressman Marcy Teodoro wants to return the favor by providing classrooms and a more accessible education system to the Marikenos. Even before he became a congressman, better education for Marikenos has always been Marcy's priority. In a relatively short period of time, Congressman Marcy Teodoro has built seven schools. Six are under construction. With a total of 180 classrooms, it is estimated that 9,000 or almost half of the total population of students in District 1 will benefit from these projects. Each classroom can accommodate 50 students. Some of the six schools which are under construction can be found at the San Roque Elementary School where Congressman Teodoro graduated. A four-floor, 24-classroom additional building is being constructed at the Santa Elena High School. And also an additional school building is being constructed at Barranca Elementary School. At Santo Nino Elementary School, a three-story, 34-classroom building was finished during Congressman Morrissey's first year term where at least 3,000 or 80% of the total population of students here benefit from the spacious classrooms. Congressman Teodoro also has a test the training program which offers short courses on food and beverage services, bartending, barista and housekeeping. In 2008, the TESDA Training Skills Program produced at least 1,406 graduates. This April, the program is estimated to produce around 300 graduates. From 2003 to 2007, Congressman Teodoro was the chairman of the Board of Trustees at the Pamantasang Lungsod ng Marikina. The Pamantasan has two branches in Concepcion offering courses on BS education, criminology, hotel and restaurant management, mass communication, nursing, business administration, and tourism. To support students who cannot fully afford to go to college, Congressman Teodoro also offers scholarship programs to well-deserved but underprivileged students. Recently, the Pamantasang Lungsod ng Marikina held its third commencement exercises, and one of the graduates and Congressman Morrissey's scholarship beneficiary is Marboy Rodriguez. Marboy works part-time in catering services to provide for his studies. While studying criminology at the Pamantasang Lungsod ng Marikina, when he found out about Congressman Morrissey's scholarship program, he did not hesitate to approach the compassionate lawmaker and ask for assistance. 
Isa po ito sa masasabi ko napalak napakalaking tulong sa akin kasi po uh, kung hindi po talaga dahil kay congressman masyado sa hira po ng buhay ngayon baka hindi ko po makamit ang pangarap ko na makapag-aral talaga ng college. Marboy was granted full scholarship with a scholarship program paying his 3,000 peso tuition per semester. Now a graduate, Marboy is more than thankful to Congressman Yudoro for the assistance he gave to him to finish college. Kay Congressman Marcia, lubos, uh, taos po sa akong nagpapasalamat sa inyo. Uh, napala, napakalaking tulong na nagawa ninyo sa akin. Sana marami pa kayong katulad ko ng katulungan. Maraming maraming salamat po. From becoming a councillor for three terms and handling positions in the Marikina government and to finally becoming a congressman, Marci Teodoro shares his life and road to politics. No 70 million, hindi ho namin hawak yung pera na yan. No? All these uh, monies are done through implementing agencies. Mm -hmm. So in other words, let's say yung magpapagawa ako ng kalsada, mm -hmm. hindi ako ang magpapagawa niyan. Ang magpapagawa niyan, DPWH. DPWH. So kami lang nagsasabi sa DPWH na ito ang gusto namin ipagawa dun sa portion ng, ng 40 million namin. Mm -hmm. Ang DPWH ang mag implement at magpapagawa nun. So, yung auditor doon sa DPWH ang mag-audit ng transaksyon na yun. So, accounting department? Kami, kami nagkakul, nagre-recommend lang kami kasi allocation namin yung 70 million. Mm -hmm. eh, they call it PIMPDAF namin, no? Priority Development Assistance Fund. But uh, we do not hold the money. Yes. The money remains with the government. We only identify what projects or what aid we want to do. Let's say, 